Hello, this is Shauna with Love Meets Cake with another tutorial. Berries, berries, berries! That's a big berry, baby. If you love these strawberry shortcake ice cream bars, you are going to love today's tutorial. Strawberry cheese, strawberry cheese, strawberry cheesecake, stuff berries. All right, let's get started by making our crumble mixture. So we're gonna use a six ounce pack of strawberry jello, six ounce pack of instant vanilla pudding, two sticks of soft butter, and flour. So first we're gonna start with putting in one stick of soft butter, and then our six ounce pack of instant vanilla pudding, And I actually had two packs of three ounce uh, vanilla pudding, so that's why you see me putting in two of them. So either one is fine as long as it comes out to six ounces. And then you're gonna put in half a cup of flour and then take a fork and fork that together until the mixture turns crumbly. Once you get it to that consistency to where it's crumbly, you can pour that into a pan. And then next we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to use our jello. So pour in your stick of butter, your six ounce pack of strawberry jello, and then we're going to use the rest of the flour, which is three fourths cup of flour. And the reason why the strawberry mixture takes a little bit more flour is because Jello has more moisture in it. So in order for the mixture to turn crumbly, um, we just need to add a little bit more flour to it. When this is fresh out the oven, don't worry about mixing in the strawberry and the vanilla part just yet. I'm just stirring it around a little bit just to make sure it's a good consistency. Um, but put it in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's cool and then mix it together. Next, let's go ahead and make our cream cheese filling. So we're going to use a pack of cream cheese, some cheesecake flavored pudding, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. So first open up your pack of soft cream cheese and we're going to put it in the bowl and beat that together just make sure there's no lumps. Once that is mixed together, pour in one cup of powdered sugar and a splash of vanilla extract. Next, in order to thicken the cream cheese mixture, I'm going to pour in about a fourth of the pack of the cheesecake flavored pudding. And so this is just going to make the mixture thicker. All right, so go ahead and wash your berries off and then melt your white chocolate. And now that our crumble mixture is out the refrigerator, 
we're going to crumble this together and break up those big pieces. The extra crumble mixture that you have left over, you can actually put in a Ziploc baggie and keep it refrigerated. And I use the same crumble recipe for my cakes, for cupcakes, ice cream, um, and then somebody even said they like to put in their oatmeal, which sounds really interesting. Alright, now that the chocolate is melted, you can dry off your berries. And then stick a toothpick down the center of the berry and then grab the berry leaves so that the leaves don't get um, covered in chocolate. Dip your berry in. Just make sure you don't cover the whole berry in chocolate because we still need room to be able to cut out the top of the berry. And then you're just going to roll it around in the crumble mixture and then place it on your parchment paper to dry. And if you didn't want to stuff them with cheesecake, you can just leave them like this and eat it like that too. Super good. Next, we're going to go ahead and make a piping bag, put whatever star tip in it that you want to use, or if you don't want to use any tip at all, that's fine, I've done that before, and then scoop the cream cheese into the bag. Get a small paring knife, and then now we're just going to carefully cut out the inside of the strawberry. Um, once I cut out the inside, I then turn the strawberry upside down on a paper towel so that way the strawberry juices will leak out to the paper towel. It's a lot easier to pipe the cream cheese icing into a dry berry instead of into a wet berry because then the cream cheese is going to start leaking out. Next, I like to use um, cupcake liners in order to put the berry in once I put the cream cheese in it. And that actually helps keep the cream cheese in place so it's not sliding out the berry.
and we're finished look how easy that was to make these hopefully you guys will give it a try and leave a comment on how they turned out